Hello beautiful people, it's me again Peter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I just wanted to show us how to collect the network trace without installing any application or software on the end user device. Why are we going to be doing this? Let's say you have a user in your environment and they're actually complaining about something and you really want to figure out what is going on. Or maybe you're actually providing these uh, logs to a support engineer on the other side of the world. So let's get started. Let's imagine that this user is the one that is having an issue. So we're going to have the user to sign on into their device. So let's give it a go. As an admin, you really want them to reproduce the issue for you so that you can collect the logs. That is the idea right here. So you have them to open CMD with an admin, right? Even though they don't have it. So since you are remote connected to the end user device, you want to provide your admin credentials. So once you do that, you want to type this command. I will provide that command for you in the below <laughs> below of this video so that you can just copy and paste. But please remember to change where the file is actually going to be uh, saved. So we're going to go ahead and correct that really quick. There we go. And yes, did I spell that really good? Okay, I think I'm good now. Now the magic starts. So it's running, I have everything on, the max size is, has increased. So what do we do? Let's go ahead and ask the user to, to perform or reproduce the issue. So for example, I'm just going to do something very simple. I'm going to go ahead and ping my domain controller. Then I'm going to go ahead and ping a device that is not on my network. Let's see how that is going to go. Okay, then after that, I'm going to navigate to unknown website. Let's say I'm going to go blah, 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 dot com. That doesn't exist. So after that, I'm just going to go to another site that does exist. So the idea here is actually reproducing the issue in order for us to collect data. So let's go ahead and navigate to where we have this information. So let's go here, Windows. I put my on the 10 and uh, study. Okay, I say Peter slow boot. So actually, we still have zero, huh? Incredible. Okay, let's say that we have some information. Like, for example, let's say this issue is actually user profile issue. So let's go ahead and restart the PC because while we are restarting, we're still collecting data. So we wanted to make sure that this is actually collecting information for us so we can use this to analyze the issue. So let's see what happened. So we're going to ask the user to connect back again. All right, brilliant. So let's go ahead and open. Let's say we already reproduced the issue and we go ahead and run this as an administrator. So we provide our beautiful credentials again. After that, let's see something. Is it actually running? Let's do some trace show status right there. Yeah, it's still running. It's still collecting information. Let's see. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's go back to the path. Temp. It's pretty slow, but now we have some data. So now we don't actually install anything. So, and we're still collecting data of everything that is happening here. 
So let's say or let's imagine that we already finished and we just need to stop the data. So we do net s h again trace stop. And that's it. That's it. So once we finish, let's say I should say stop right now. So once we actually have this information, this information is the one that we wanted to go ahead and attach and send it to the maybe network administrator, or you can send it to Peter. No, <laughs> don't send it to me, but depends on it. What is actually happening? You'll be able to see that in the logs that is provided for you. I figure out that this actually takes like maybe two to three minutes. So you just have to be patient and uh, just get that ready. But that is how you collect data from a device. Either you are actually dealing with VDI, but with VDI is actually really different because it depends on what kind of uh, VDI you're using, maybe persistent or random. So an admin should be able to find a way, like maybe they wanted to mount it on the, they wanted to do that on the master image and they'll collect the logs for them. So with that being said, uh, the tracing section is actually stopped right now. So all I have to do is bring these slow boots. You can send it to a zip file and for example, let's do that before we go. So now that you have it, you just bring it in and attach them to any log file or maybe put them to OneDrive and send it to the network engineer or attach it to your case file and they will be able to assist you. So now let's see what really happened. Let me open it up. Let's see what's going to happen here. You look at that. So we get like, um, it's actually opening up. So we got some information loading already. So that is what the network engineer is going to do. Oh, they can actually use the network uh, trace to view the information. For example, it's going to be pretty slow boots and uh, they can actually load up the file and see what is going on and figure out what is the issue right here. Why do we need to collect this network trace? Let's see, maybe in the future video, I uh, might be showing, depends on what is actually going on, then we will figure out uh, what we are going to look for. For example, let's just demonstrate this before we go. Let's say we are looking for something in DNS. So, you can actually put DNS right here and you'll be able to see the protocol. What is happening? Let's make this bigger. Okay, let's see if I can actually find something that I was doing earlier. Look at this. I was actually calling from the source, which is my study with player client. And I'm going to destination by pinging. You see what I'm doing right here? I'm actually pinging uh this my domain controller right here and you look at that you know i got a response that is like success for that you know let's see another thing uh, right here well it looks like this video is taking too long uh, we're gonna actually continue this in the next uh, video and i hope these actually help you out to understand a little bit how to collect network trace if you really like it, now you can, if you are new, you can subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, you can actually go ahead and like and share with your friend. If you have any question, put it down in the comment section and I'll be very glad to help you out. Thank you so much and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.